What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I'm going to open up 8 packs of Yu-Gi-Oh! OTS uh, Tournament Pack 7 for you guys. So yeah, I picked up a few more of these packs, and I was hoping maybe we can get something awesome from this. I mean, we could even get an Ultimate Rare? I, I don't know, I've had good luck in the past, we'll have to see, because yeah, there's actually some good comments in this, and good Super Rares and stuff too. So let's get to it. There we are. Alright, what do we have? Well, can we focus? Okay, this is this is a good start. <laughs> Prickle Fairy. Zombie World, not bad. We just heard that they're actually going to get like some new support or that structure deck will. And uh, Magical Citadel of Indominion. This seems weird now after uh, with Dark Saviors. They actually reprint this card as Secret Rare. So I don't get now why... Uh, whatever. <laughs> that just doesn't make any sense to me. It's cool to see that as a hollow. But you also then right afterwards made it a secret rare. Huh? <laughs> I guess if you prefer super rares over there, then uh, there you go. We have Lucky Chance, Book of Life. That's pretty good. And uh, Paleozoic Dinomiscus. That is awesome. I mean, Paleozoics are actually getting some hype lately. And the TCG, they are actually really good these days. So getting some of those is awesome. I mean, you can get them as holographics now. I always hoped they would do something... Like, even have, like, a Noble Knight box for Paleozoics or Kaijus. You know, print them over here as hollows for us. That'd be cool. Because I like that idea of, like, what they did with Noble Knights. But maybe a different rarity and also do that with, like, every uh, world premiere archetype. And I cannot get this back open. There we are. Okay. And also, yes, Konami, you can use that idea. It is free. We have Zereldis. Rare Value. And also a World Legacy World Chalice. Well, that's pretty cool. I think I got two of these last time, so I think I have a place it now. I'm telling you, Konami should hire me, and I'll come up with the products. I'd reprint everything really quickly, <laughs> actually. We have Spell Power Grasp, Pitch Black, a Power Stone, and a Spiral Tough. Oh, man, that's good, too. Well, Spirals are actually doing well over here as well. I mean, after everything's changed, after Banlist has gone after them, they're actually doing very well these days with everything that's going on. So getting a Spiral card is really good. Also, I hope you guys are enjoying this opening, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, like seriously, especially with everything going on with YouTube. So please do that if you're enjoying the video. Anyway, we have Book of Life, Prickle Fairy, and another Paleozoic. I don't have this one. This one's Paleozoic. Um, oh, man. Uh, let's see. I'll try. All right. It is uh, Lena Chola. I'm going to go with that because I don't think it's going to get any better. <laughs> Honestly, with my pronunciation skills. So I'll go with that. I think that one's uh, another good one, though. Like, that's the one they actually use. So not bad. We have Insect Princess. Zereldis. And then Destrato. Now there we go. That's a great card to get. I know. Ancient Fairy Dragon is now banned. So that kind of hurt this card, but it's still one of my favorite cards. I mean, I just think it's so cool. It's a zombie dragon, basically. So if that's not cool enough for you, it still does a lot too for a lot of different decks. I mean, it's, an in it's like an instant uh, level 7 Synchro Monster. Unfortunately, without Fairy Dragon, not as good as it used to be, but still like, you know, Black Rose Dragon, there's still other options too. So I'm still happy about it. But if Ancient Fairy ever comes back, it'd be a lot better. <laughs> Just saying. All right, we have Zombie World. Then Wavering Eyes. That's pretty good. And then another one of Paleozoic Eye Dinomiscus. There we go. Uh, yeah, I think there's like my fourth one now or something. Did I get two of them last time? It was something like that. I've, I've had some pretty good luck getting Paleozoic, so that's good. And uh, yeah, we're down to our last pack. Okay. What can we end with? Can I end with an Ultimate Rare? I really want an Ultimate Rare Link Spider. I don't know why, I just think it looks so cool. So, let's see. I want to get as many Link Monsters as I can as Ultimate Rares. Because it just looks amazing. I still need to get to Code Talker. And I can't get this pack open either. I'm trying to be so careful. Alright, we have Lucky Chance, Rare Value, and... 
we have Royal Magical Library. So, unfortunately, not Ultimate Rare. I was kind of thinking, you know, <laughs> it, it'd be a tough one. It'd be really uh, a serious heart of the cards moment. But either way, I mean, these packs are still really good to get because Super is actually really good from this set and even the comments and stuff too. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Just something kind of random to open up. And if you guys have any other, uh, like, packs you'd like to see, let me know. I mean, I want to try to get more uh, OTS packs, more Astro packs. But, of course, if you want to see... Um, like any specific Yu-Gi-Oh! tins, gold series, special editions, I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments and I'll try to get them uh, for future opening. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't already, and also ring the bell, and of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya.